What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the best platforms to learn data analytics in 2025. Now, data analytics is an extremely popular job title and a lot of people are wanting to break into data analytics. Because of that, there are a ton of different platforms that you can use to learn data analytics, but some are good and some aren't. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite places to learn data analytics. Some are paid, some are free, but they are all really great resources for you to use. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and take a look. All right, so let's get started. And the first one that we're gonna take a look at is on Reddit. There's a data analysis subreddit. And I just recommend using this and learning this because you can find so much information on here. And there's people posting all about resources and projects and different questions that they have. And so if you're working on something, you run into a roadblock and you can't figure it out with ChatGPT or you can't figure it out with Google, you can ask other people. And there's a whole community of people who will help you and help answer your questions. And I've used this many times in the past when I've had issues, as well as I'm a contributor in this subreddit and I help other people. This is just a really great resource in general to get plugged into. So I do recommend it. The next one is the almighty chat GPT. Now I'm including this early because it is one just very helpful for learning data analytics, but you can kind of ask it to be your personal teacher of data analytics. You can ask it all sorts of questions. So it's kind of like this subreddit where you can ask it questions, but you're going to get immediate feedback. But the thing I've learned about ChatGPT is it's not always correct, or they kind of don't have the right information on what your specific, or maybe a very niche question that you're asking. That's when I go to the subreddit, but I use ChatGPT a lot um, when I have questions, when I have things I'm trying to work through. So I highly recommend utilizing ChatGPT or other AI systems in order to just ask it questions and learn as you go. I wouldn't fully rely on these systems because they're not always 100% accurate, but they can be very, very helpful when you're trying to debug and ask different questions and try to figure things out. The next place I would come to is Kaggle. I absolutely love Kaggle. I recommend it to so many people to start with Kaggle because I absolutely love Kaggle. This is not my main account. Uh, this is my Alex the Analyst account, which I don't really use. Um, but you can have all these different contributions for data sets, notebooks, competitions, discussions, courses. Um, and as you can see over here, they have an entire section just for finding data sets. And so if you are looking for data sets, you can find them in here. If you want to go in and look at people's notebooks for different, uh, you know, coding stuff they've done either in Python or, you know, different languages, you can do that. They also have forums. They also have a learning platform where you can go and you can learn Python or pandas. Uh, you can even learn things like machine learning, AI, geospatial analysis. This is just a fantastic, incredible free resource to own a ton of data analytics. The next platform that I recommend people using is DataCamp because I genuinely like DataCamp. I think it's a great platform. They have so many courses on data analytics. It really is a great place to learn. The only downside, and I'm just going to mention this, the only downside is they have so many different instructors. Some are good, some are not. Um, and that's just my personal opinion. That's been my personal experience from using the platform because I have used it quite a bit in the past and uh, some of them are very, very good. But what I do like is they have courses on just about everything. So, you know, if you're joining data with pandas, it's just a four hour course on specifically that issue that you're trying to learn. The data camp is pretty great. I do recommend data camp. Next, you can use free resources like YouTubers. And I am one of those YouTubers. You're watching my video on YouTube. But I'm also going to recommend a few different ones, but mine, I have videos on, oh gosh, just everything. I, I've been making this for five years. I'm starting a new series right now, which, you know, this is probably, that series will be done when you watch this, but on healthcare analytics. Um, but I have all sorts of things. These are all the data analyst courses I recommend. These are uh, how to create portfolio projects, Power BI, Excel, Tableau, so many different things. Here are a few of the YouTubers that I recommend following, but more specifically, uh, we have Luke Barus. He is a close personal friend of mine. He is a fantastic YouTuber, has so many great stuff, and he's releasing full courses for free over on his YouTube channel. So I do recommend checking those out because it's a great free place to learn these skills and tools. I also recommend Mo Chen. Mo Chen has a great YouTube channel. I have just recently, maybe like a year ago, found his YouTube channel, and I've personally learned some stuff from his channel, and he's just a really great guy. I mean, at least from his videos, I don't know him personally. He's a really great guy and he has really great videos on so many different things. They're more broad topics. They aren't like mine where it's a lot of tutorials. They're more broad topics. And so if you're just getting into it, this is a great place to start. And then lastly, we have Agatha. She has, again, more broad topics of data analytics, like how to become a data analyst and get a job. I created 27 dashboards. This is what I learned. 
those types of videos, those aren't really the videos that I do. And so I recommend taking a look at her channel because she has a lot of different content and I really like the way that she presents information and just her YouTube channel as a whole. Lastly, and this is just a shameless plug, I created a platform called analystbuilder.com. I would say it's a competitor to something like DataCamp, but I'm the one who's teaching you all the courses and all the coding and everything. So if you like my way of teaching and you like my voice and you sounds better, he's smooth, and you're like, man, I would really love to learn from this guy. Um, then I have a whole questions page. You can practice for technical interviews. You can come in here and you can actually practice these things. They go from really easy like this one. They can get very, very difficult. And let's find a very hard one. They can be a very, very difficult, and I have answers and solutions to all of these problems, as well as community feedback and how they were able to solve it as well. Not only that, we have full courses. And so if you want to take all of my courses, these are my full courses. And I genuinely think they are some of the best courses that you're going to find online. And I'm adding ones all the time. By the time you're watching this, I'll have my full Power BI, my intro to data pipelines, and maybe even possibly my full R course as well. And so if you like the way I teach and you want to try out analystbuilder.com, I will leave a coupon down below so you can go ahead and try it. But again, that's just a shameless plug. All these other resources are fantastic. They are ones that I have learned things from. They're ones that I currently use like ChatGPT and the data analysis subreddit. But I will have all of these links in the description so you can go and check them out. You can find the one that fits best for you. With all that being said, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you learned something and you find one of these resources really helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe below. And I will see you in the next video.